God loves you, Taurus. August is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone peridot. Your birthstone is emerald, Taurus, so what we need to do is find out how these two gemstones resonate with each other, and they both have a, a, a green effect. So these are going to resonate actually quite well together, the peridot and the emerald. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to find out how to contact me, you can visit my website at www.readingsbyrosemary.com. We provide you with all the information necessary on how you can obtain one of our spiritual consultations, psychic astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars. We teach everything from Merkaba to Kabbalah to how you can read tarot cards, how you can learn to read rune stones, how you can know a lot more about Kabbalah than the average person and how you can activate your Merkaba field which is taught which is it's very popular these days now regarding the gemstones in August especially Peridot this has the light emanations of the astrology archangel Virchiel and your zodiac sign gemstone of emerald has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel Osmodel Stay right here as we give you the gemstones particular to your ruling planet of Venus. Now, white sapphires and clear diamonds and white topaz and quartz crystal. This is a Lemurian crystal. And also zircons are the precious stones that you can use to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Hanael, who was assigned to the planet Venus in Kabbalah, also being called Anael or being Haniel or Anafiel, since these names and resulting slightly varying angels corresponding to Venus apply pleasurable, though attenuated levels of bestowal, creature comforts, and sensuality. So be very mindful of your own intentions and your own potency when utilizing these powerful gems in unison with each other. This is a Lemurian crystal, and during this fifth house venture of soul, through the natural fifth house in August, you can go ahead and charge your Lemurian crystals, and especially for you, Taurus, since it's going to help you with your Venusian attributes since you're ruled by Venus. You're ruled by the planet Venus, or Aphrodite to the Greeks. Now, the planet Anael, uh, this is the angel, the, it's a planetary angel, excuse me, Anael, is called Hanael, sometimes. Uh, called Haniel is this is what's assigned to the planet Venus and the Sefer of Netzach and Kabbalah among the order of the Elohim this attribute of God is invoked using the God name of Yahweh Sabaoth or Yad Hevav He Sabaoth with a TZ now you can mostly use the Zohar if you want to gain information on the uh, on Kabbalah and also the Sefer Yetzirah. Now, an, a very good book that I personally couldn't have ever lived without. I read many moons ago and reread. This is the mystical Kabbalah. Kabbalah with a Q. You can spell it with a C, a Q, or a K. And two Bs or one B or an H on the end or not. But basically, the mystical Kabbalah by Dion Fortune. Uh, this is a very, very important book. And you see there's a lovely picture here of the Kabbalah on the front uh, with, with the... The, the ten sephirot, uh, which go from the top crown chakra of Kether all the way down to Malkut, down to the, the, the feet, down to the bottom, down to the, or, you know, really it's the root chakra, but the feet are a part of that. But it, this, this is like, you could take the, any chakra system and you can see that they've taken it and sort of put three pillars into it, so it, it gets very, uh, specific very specific because anything that you're doing if it's not specific then you know it might not be as accurate the more specific the more accurate you are now Anael Aniel Hanael being very names of this divine attribute found in the angelic realm where dreamy desire in general 
and a specific desire of victory is found in Netzach through this angel, and it's known as the beauty or the grace of God in Kabbalah. Hanael, Anael, and Nafiel, or Haniel, is among the angels who helped transport Enoch to heaven in the book of Enoch. The Hebrew book of three Enoch, or book of Enoch by Arishmael ben Elisha, the high priest, chapter 17, the princes of the seven havens of the sun, moon, planets and constellations, and their suites of angels. Arishmael said, Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, the glory of all heaven, said to me, seven are the princes, the great, beautiful, revered, wonderful, and honored ones who are appointed over the seven havens. Important information is usually found in footnotes. Then came Anaphiel. The chapter accepts a tradition to which Anaphiel is assigned a position higher than that of Metatron. So understand that. And that you know, that's you know, and, and even know that some to some people say that the Kabbalah that we learn in the Western tradition is is inverted, with Saturn on the top instead of on the bottom. So just understand things are rotated to give to different cultures so they can all fight with each other about who's right when in reality at the end of the day we find more similarities than we do differences don't we now Aniel or Haniel is said to hold a high position being a chief being a chief of both the order of virtues as well as principalities now the the Venusian angel Aniel uh, is found in the Sephira of right here, Netzach. We're going to have some better visual aids for you in future videos. We're uh, going to open some of our old treasure chests that we have locked away. <laughs> and although most people would think there's nothing that valuable in our treasures, we have things like uh, a wooden easel that I can put some some pictures on for you so we can give you better visual aids when we talk about Kabbalah. So this is Netzach here. It's colored green. The, the associations in Netzach are uh, the colored green, copper is the metal, also the flower is a rose, also the number seven because the seventh, the seven sephirah. Otherwise it's it, it, that's in as you're coming down the tree from Keter being the first Sephira. So it's number seven. Also, uh, and then the, there's various God names that we're going over, that we've just gone over, Yet Kevav He and Sabaot. And also the angels, we're going over the archangels, angels, these kinds of correspondences for you that you utilize in magic. The day of the week is Friday. And it's Venus, and she she comes out of the ocean, and it's, you know, people eat fish on Fridays, and, you know, it's all about these kinds of associations that you think are, you know, they, we would, you know, we make somebody else's culture and somebody else's language evil. We make our own language uh, godly. So just understand that there's a lot, again, there's a lot more similarities and there are differences in all the various religions of the world all bound together in the Zohar, all bound together in Kabbalah, it's a very important book, especially as we get into the age of Aquarius and we go into the grand solar minimum and we have global cooling and the poles are creeping around and becoming different and they're suddenly going to seem different to some people. They're, you know, they're not really creeping, they're just moving a little slower than people thought they might. It's ha happened before, uh, so just understand, you know, because I think even in Egyptian, the word for back of head, I, I believe, means... Uh, North, I believe. So because it, it flipped around. So anyway, that that's something that I remember being discussed. And if you heard different, please let me know. But please, you know, be you know be relaxed. And oh, by the way, I heard it was this. So, you know, that's helpful. So now regarding. The angel Ariel, this Venusian angel Anael, sometimes again is called Ariel. And this is evocative of the prophecy of Isaiah where God judges Jerusalem and prophesizes about converting the Gentile nations. We read in the Dewey Rames Bible, in Chandler Notes, chapter 29, verses 1 and 2. This is be I read that this is one of the Bibles that's be being written for public domain. 
Woe to Ariel, to Ariel the city which David took years added to year. The solemnities are at an end, and I will make a trench about Ariel, and it shall be in sorrow and mourning, and it shall be to me as Ariel. Now this is, if it sounds negative, it's because there is this sort of heart-rending aspect to the Venusian, that falling in love quality, because with, as with Cupid, how do you know you're in love unless what? Unless it hurts. If it doesn't hurt, you say, oh, we weren't in love, we're just friends, so it didn't work. You only know you're in love when what? When it hurts. And <laughs> what does it hurt? Your heart. So, you know, that's where Cupid with his arrow through the heart understand that. Now, Venus is known as the attribute of God, the morning star, found in Revelation chapter 22, verse 16 of the Dewey Rames Bible. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things. In the churches, I am the root and stock of David, the bright and morning star. Your earth guardian archangel Uriel, that earth angel, speaks through to you from your Taurus astrology archangel Osmodel. This is a, an angelic horoscope transmission, beloved, from your Taurus zodiac angel Osmodel, who resides over the bull's fixed earth nature, and here are his messages for you in the areas of love, money, and health. Osmodel's love, rapture, and romance transmission, again, your Taurus Zodiac Angel, Asmodel, who's your teaching angel. You have the, the guardian angel for all the earth signs being Uriel presiding over. And this is the red, orange, angelic light frequencies of Asmodel combined with comforting, very healing quality, shimmering towards extravagant, deeply thoughtful internal and external healing remedies, pulsated gemstone, and the rays of light alluring to the eye from the gemstone of peridot for, for the Leo or, or the emerald for the, the, the Taurish energies and that Venusian, that, that Lemurian or, or crystal or clear quartz crystal. And these stimulate, and especially that peridot, which is that green Venusian sort of color, it stimulates your romantic aspirations through happy blessings bestowed from August solar angelic realms in the cause of this birthstone's luxurious as well as therapeutic and talented attributes. Magical energies of an accurate permutation of zodiac angel, Virgil's natural fifth house attributes, in addition to your own Taurus energies, bestows to you a great cornucopia filled to the brim, realizing new possibilities as well as ever bigger and be better and brighter future portents. Brilliant methods of attainment are the purview of the traditional zodiac sign of Leo for the objective of charming, sort of attention grabbing and enlightening, also very accommodating shimmerings of exact light that fills the heart with an ambiance of creative radiance, motivationally therapeutic to both body and soul, allowing fresh dreams initiating forth from a gem which gives alluring capabilities for the owner of such a gemstone through attraction of the crown chakra qualities as well as third eye, heart chakra, and solar plexus chakra attributes, just generating abundant del delight throughout regeneration of personal spirit guides, affording knowledge from clear vision during various ultra-dimensional or interdimensional, even intradimensional communicates made lucid through complementary relationships and that's within the solar crown chakra pineal gland attributes as well as third eye or sixth chakra pituitary functions and consciousness heart chakra lion heart strength through compassion solar plexus sort of qualities of very great ego health because you need a healthy ego to 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 do well in life and this will activate the sephiroth of solar potency within Keter, thus reflecting lunar power through your sod, activating Venusian beauty and desire in Netzach, and even the passion of Marshal Gibura. These offer sources of dimensional currents of enchantment for romance magic, which is effective when influenced through solar qualities of confidence expressed in goddesses or gods within the sephirah of Typhira being Fortuna Lucifera, Apollo, Mithra, and Archangel Michael are included in performance of ritual, ceremonial, magic. Now for Osmodel's money and wealth transmission. And the sun really accentuates that sort of fifth house, that very 
very successful type of generosity. And that's the name of the game. When the sun sends out his glowing sunbeams to fill the air with copious production of wealth gotten from work well done due to personal pride being an all-important factor. Clients and customers understand that their well-being is at the heart of any action when soul transits through fifth house frequencies where Archangel Michael and Zodiac Angel Virtue oversee activity, bringing light into even the darkest corners of God's great universe. Anyone wishing to indulge in financial success will begin to learn what must be done to attain the financial freedom which they truly desire. Money injections for new upstarts become significant for people who gain deep insight into what makes others agree to purchase goods and services. A great enjoyment of, of helping others is at, is at the heart of the matter. And this provides, you know, it, it kind of provides for you uh, a way to understand how you can also provide for their needs. And this brings on a more sunny disposition in financial transactions produced from intentions which truly start out as sincere as well as friendly. This is the season for tending to the children and creative projects or even the artistic work of one's progeny. Art, music, works of writing, fiction or nonfiction are valued during fifth house considerations of the natural zodiac house of Leo the Lion with strong solar willpower making one capable of evoking help from almighty angelic realms keeping everyone very protected and cared for. Now remember that in the pillars of Yakim and Boaz where you have Yakim really being Jehovah and that's the God who separates and that light sterilizes and separates where you have you have the, the, the God Baal you know that God Baal who is the Boaz and that is the God who brings fertility and that is the God who brings lush rains and and money and and all, all the abundance of, of of, of the world so understand they work together and they make that arch and that's the zodiacal arch. At the top of the zodiacal arch, you have the sign of Cancer, the crab. Understand that when you're utilizing all of these various things, because Leo is going to shine the light this month. The the solar deities are going to shine the light in August, and that 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 happens every August. So understand that that. That is how you're going to learn what's really at the heart of things. And Leo will always get you to the truth of the matter. The fifth house will always get you to the truth of the matter. Now remember, tis the season right now for tending to your children and creative projects or even the artistic work of one's progeny. Remember, fifth house. Art, music, works of writing, fiction, or nonfiction are valued during fifth house. Those really heartfelt considerations of the natural zodiac house of Leo the Lion with strong solar willpower, making one capable of evoking help from mighty angelic realms, keeping everyone protected and cared for. And that's that's the name of the game. Connecting to one's personal money, nymph, and the Kabbalistic sephirot of Jupiter and Chesed and Venusia Netzach, which are important sephirot for income creation and money magic techniques, being overflowing sources of cash from where economic health is cultivated via connections of fun, gratifying, and sensible occupations through opulence. And any such type of magic allows for riches to pour forth from inner oceans of light, from one's authentic inner happiness, which is then given freely to others by participating in trade with sunny dispositions. And this will bring about a happy countenance form from similitude with Creator God. Laugh when the world laughs with you in the world of Messiah, having the throne of Malka, the bride of the king, creating his kingdom in Malkuth, begotten from proper craftsmanship of amulets made with formidable talent and precision way beyond the understanding of most and bound by etheric plain tapestries responsible for granting earthly necessities and treasures 
Who are the agreeable magical elementals upon which all musicians and adepts must rely? But remember, there's no one smarter and no one better at magic than the smallest of children. A baby is better at magic than any adult because they haven't, they haven't had the world fill their mind with all the reasons they cannot do something. So understand that, a, that a, the most innocent baby or even, even those very magical animals that we care for and tend to are very magical creatures indeed, all animals. So we have to be good stewards of this earth, do we not? Now, wizards and wizardresses often invoke into their being or invoke into created sacred spaces or magical circles the frequencies of the Sefer of Bena, where Saturnine emanations are assigned in Kabbalah to attributes such as hermetically sealing great power, which produces extraordinary celebratory events or venues for entertainment. Calm and confidence wins every occasion throughout cosmological evolutions where combining clear diamonds, quartz crystal, zircons, or emerald with peridot unites astrology, archangelic forces known to Osmodel and Virchiel, and that tempts investors to utter charm in the theaters of large commercial properties, celebrations, weddings, funerals, as well as various religious events. Vim and vigor are extremely important if one wishes to bring a high order of magnitude to any long-term goal where power must be sustainable. Power is generated when the sun is transiting through natural fifth house attributes, granting an essential sense of good judgment for the purpose of affording one his or her own self-confidence, trust in self, and relaxed assurance through indicating a good amount of intelligence, thus causing admirable amounts of favorable fortune when considering a bright future for children and creativity expressed in original ways, honored and approved from God's hand, found in, div in very divine providence. And this is, this is God. It's divine providence. And it's bestowed from the monad of the adepts, God's self. And this is, is going to allow flow in all directions when you see that self and not self are the exact same thing. And you gain knowledge and conversation of your holy guardian angel, your own holy guardian angel. Now, illumination is produced, enlightenment is generated and given birth to from self-realization, creating a technique of money magic congruent with one's own visualization of loving kindness. Loving kindness. It's all about the heart. Remember that. Done for the good of all. Healthy financial habits provide one with ownership as well as granting one leadership positions. Very important. Now watch this. Let's look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 7, in the Webster Bible translation on um, public domain. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is the servant to the lender. Very important to keep that in mind. The crown chakra, third eye, or sixth chakra heart, and solar plexus chakras are invigorated, bathed in white light, and harmonized during this time, predominantly when an awe-inspiring environments and original creativity are the goal sought with August's gemstone providing a fortuitous and goodly portion of monetary occasions through which one may now blossom. Now for Osmodo's health and fitness transmission. The all-important subject of health finds great success in goals and plans realized during this astrological progression of the sun through the natural fifth house of children and creativity in August, possessing conversion arrays through balancing of the crown chakra, third eye or sixth chakra heart, and solar plexus chakras. Crown or seventh chakra is analogous to the top supernal acephora being kether involving the pineal gland. Scanning third eye or sixth chakra hormone producing organs such as the pituitary gland finds expression in the lower supernal sephirot of chokhmah and bana. And this uh, grants intelligence and understanding respectively. Now please understand that, that the, the top supernals here are we have Keter and we have uh, we have Bina on this side and Chokma on this side. So that's the, the three supernals are like if you go in a Catholic church, the altar. What's behind that 
sort of fence or that, you know, there's a delineation. That's the supernals where the priest is, where you cannot go. Where you go up to to receive your communion or you go up to to receive your blessing, that's as we begin to enter into, we go down into the lower uh, sephirot of, of Gebura and and Chesed. So the Kabbalah is the actual layout of the Catholic Church, at least the original Catholic Church, before too many changes are made. And those statues represent these sephirah and what is found in those sephirah. Those statues represent what is found in those sephirah. So the Catholic Church is based on the structure of Kabbalah. Now, Kabbalah teaches us that men are given an extra amount of intelligence in Chokhmah, which is the which is indicative of the male reproductive uh, organ, while women are given a more opulent amount of understanding from the Sefer Bana, which explains when well, that's the female reproductive organ, which explains why the two genders differ in their behavior. Even in their three-dimensional Merkaba field, the women have the projection in that st three-dimensional Star of David in the chest, and the men have it have it in the pelvis. That's that's as you turn that three-dimensional Star of David, that's how you get the different genders as you understand and begin to activate your Merkaba field, which we teach that as well. Now keep in mind that astrological signs possess both masculine and feminine qualities according to individual persons, more or less abundant portions of these two attributes, which results in nature's great balance. Heart chakra qualities involve the heart and the back as well as the thoracic spine when soul transits natural fifth house frequencies. Solar plexus chakra activation occurs during this progression which involves the sephira of Typhereth, which includes the soul of the heart and ego of the solar plexus chakras. Vital knowledge of one's true personal soul requirements assures proper adherence to biological law giving rise to very efficient and correct cellular task functioning towards vigorous health, very vigorous health. Remember that with the Sephiroth of Kether denoting crown, chakra, energetic fields, Chochmah and Bana associated with third eye or sixth chakra frequencies, as well as the heart and solar plexus chakras located in the Sephiroth of Typhereth, a great soothing and a great harmonizing and healing will occur during August when one imprints one's very personal morphogenic field with intentions towards healing brought into reality through holding fast to universal laws. Universal laws. Divine unsubstantial qualities are transformed into divine substantial traits, making certain we are mindful of our vocabulary, feelings, and dealings or activities. Because when you get to God's throne room, you're going to find that the face of God Almighty is your own face. Now remember that strength, power, and confidence allows for fulfillment of plans during August, enlivening the crown or seventh chakra, third eye or sixth chakra, heart and solar plexus chakras. Zodiacal and angelic currents generate from the branch and the root of that Kabbalistic tree, focusing upon what actually will make you both happy as well as successful based upon what Creator originally had in mind for you when He formed your eternal soul. Now follow this in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 7 to 8. And this is from the New Heart English Bible. Uh, it's a public domain Bible. Do not be wise in your own eyes. That's very important. Again, do not be wise in your own eyes. Proverbs 3, 7 to 8. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your body and nourishment to your bones. So it doesn't mean you have to play dumb or act stupid. What it means is understand that other people are intelligent as well. Understand that just because another person doesn't speak the same language as you or or has a different accent than you have or, or comes from a different culture or is of a different religion or is a different gender, understand that other people have an intelligence. And perhaps it's time that human beings understand that maybe we're not the only intelligent beings in the universe, maybe it's time we understood that. 
Organs of the head, chest, and solar plexus found in seventh, fourth, and third chakra vortex centers are often overheated and thus overstimulated by overzealous or undisciplined practitioners of either modern science, yoga, or hermetic art, which all stem from mankind's desire to improve himself spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, and physically. Balance and moderation in all things is a cliché. Nevertheless, one which gives great sturdiness and health to one's constitution. Laughter is a mustering, August. In the I Ching method of chakra healing, this portion of the year is significant for chakras of the head, chest, and upper abdominal energy centers, becoming principally enlivened when cleansing, soothing, and balancing natural fifth house attributes. Since August's zodiacal sign of Leo's, very, uh, which has the ruling planet of the sun or soul, which is concerned with the pineal gland, the heart, the thoracic spine, and muscles of the middle back, as well as chakras and organs such as the heart and circulatory system, while the sign Leo itself associates with the heart, chest, or fourth chakra to provide lifeblood to the flesh, as well as a mechanical pump with which to circulate this sanguine nourishment to oxygenate the entire physical body and body of life through the quality of compassion of bestowal and willpower expressed in ten, Kabbalistic, sephirotic dimensions. Incorporation of the entire range of energetic frequencies of diamond, quartz crystal, or zircons for Venus, emerald for Taurus, and peridot for Leo brings poise as well as self during August. And this will help with your self-assurance and help you to become ever more capable of setting into motion all your well-thought-through plans. Others will be attracted to your compassion and your loyalty during this cosmological transit, bringing new and exciting opportunities, lavish environments, as well as richly rewarding your generosity and emotional intelligence when natural fifth house attributes of children, creativity, and creative projects are activated and emphasized using August gemstones, as well as those corresponding to the planet soul, better known as the sun. So remember, these, these is a very important time for this heart chakra considerations. Your crown or seventh chakra, third eye or sixth chakra, chest and solar plexus chakras are measured to be of celestial magnitude throughout natural fifth house solar transits for the function of establishing rich treasures in physical realm sensations as well as in emotional and causal bodies enabling you towards very lucid voluntary command of your body of light. Christ demonstrated his body of light in Matthew, that's chapter 17, verse 2 of the Webster Bible translation, and he was transfigured before them, and his face shone as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Astrocartographic arrangements currently, as well as at birth, must be revealed. If a holistic style of unveiling one's inner nature is truly Desired. The disclaimer is in order here. High magic should be used with all mindfulness, since powerful forces of of a very, very, very strong and 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 powerful uh, abilities to manifest and give life are unleashed during this time. Now, remember, this is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I have or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of having and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Taurus. Information found in this document is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us and please join us again.